Hi guys, so I am coming on here because I want to make like videos while we are on our... Oh, she's passing out the newspaper. It's like, what is this lady doing in my driveway? Um, so we got put on a mandatory three week break, which is technically only two because during one of those weeks, we are um, on spring break. So next week we're off, the following week is spring break, and then the following week we're also off. I'm trying to find things. I went to Aldi yesterday and uh, Costco on Thursday and I stocked up on food. Um, but I was not really like worried. Um, I just, we needed bread and I was hopeful that there would be bread. Put you guys down. And sure enough, there was no bread. So I had to buy two packs of um, bagels and this is our last of the bread so we have bagels uh, that we're going to be using for sandwiches and toast and everything sorry you can't really see my face but you can hear me talking um, we are on I mean Aldi is my go-to store as everybody knows and they were wiped out of pretty much everything you can think of um pasta sauce pasta uh all the meat was gone the alcohol was pretty much gone bread um let's see the fruit was fine like plenty of fruit plenty of eggs milk was was bare but um not almond milk so i grabbed almond milk i didn't think to grab any cereal for my husband so he's like kind of bummed about it but um I don't know. I don't want to go back out because I just, it was an hour wait in line for me and it's usually like a five minute wait in line. Like it was just giving me anxiety and people were just freaking out, which I started freaking out at that point. But I, then, you know, I just prayed and remembered, you know, all that stuff. So today is Saturday. What is the date? The 14th. Sorry. And our life is what it is. Um, my morning sickness is gone, so I'm pretty happy about that. And right now, I'm just getting breakfast ready for everybody. So, yeah. So here are their, goodness love, their breakfast. You got some cage-free, oops. Got some cage-free eggs. They're brown eggs with some toast and some blueberries. So, yep, got some nice breakfast. So it is 4.17 and a lot has changed in just a couple hours. Um, cases in Ohio have been um, brought up or whatever. And so school was supposed to be on Monday, but now they have canceled school on Monday. And you need to go brush your hair. Your Daddy hair is, already brushed it. It, it got ruined. Oh, okay. Um, so... Now there's no school on Monday and then we're off for like what I said, like the two weeks or whatever. But Three also weeks. on top of that, um, stores, stores are still open, but, um, like the library is closed. Metro parks are still open, but not the indoor parts, like the nature centers and stuff. Those places have closed. Uh, let's see what else. I got like a whole like um, uh, church has been canceled, um, so things are. I feel like the moment like the first case in Ohio came out, it was like, like everybody just kind of freaked out. But um, we aren't traveling. I was thinking of um, going to see my parents. Hi, I'm Ted. But it was not suggested that I travel, so I said okay. She's four. Um, no. So She's we are just <laughs> we're stir crazy. Like I had to take a Zofran. Stop. I had to take a Zofran because I was like anxious and I didn't feel good. She's three. <laughs> and it's you guys. It's not even like day one, and I'm already ready for them to go back to school. Like. Just send my kids. You can just watch my kids for me. And I will gladly stay home by myself for eight hours. Because we can't go anywhere. Um, she actually is 10. 
I mean, it's not I'm suggested she- for us to go anywhere. And it's like and a... Stop, you guys. Just leave me alone. It's just not suggested for us to go anywhere. So even if I wanted to, like, go to the mall, well, the mall is closed because there's, like, a kid's area. I'm 10, actually. And that's closed. So now, like, the weather's, like, it's been snowing all day. So they did go outside for a little bit, but it wasn't enough because it's cold. So they end up coming back in. So I'm just really hoping over the next, like, couple weeks... The weather's nice. They can get outside and not talk to me and not bother me, not even look at me. Like, I don't want anything to do with my kids because I'm just like, why? But even babysitters, like daycares, daycares haven't closed down yet. But I'm wondering if that's the next thing that's going to close. Um, I talked to one of my friends and her little girl goes to the daycare like down the street from us. And they have not closed yet, but she has a feeling that they probably will end up closing probably soon, which is going to be hard for parents that cannot work from home. Luckily, stop, stop. Luckily, she is able to work from home some days, but the other days, like, they're, I don't know, it's going to be hard for the parents that can't work from home. Um, and both have working parents in, like, in short amount of time, have to find a babysitter. So it's just, I've offered my services up. People know I'm here, so... But, yeah, it's, it's, it's rough. Hi, so today is Tuesday, and um, a lot has changed since I started recording. Um, everything in Columbus has pretty much shut down. Um, and Dan is working home starting tomorrow. So today is his last day uh, working in the office. So today, I, I have a schedule for our home, being home school type thing um so it's 9 13 we've been up since 8 but um I've been in bed because I've been waiting for the girls the girls didn't wake up till around 8 30 so we've just been they're doing yoga poses right now from the um teacher that sent them home with stuff so they're working on yoga in my room and I'm making breakfast and then we're gonna be working on one chore a day so the girls will have to help me clean one room a day um, today it's because daddy will be home for work we're gonna be working on the bathroom downstairs and my sewing room so Dan can be downstairs and work because I told him I said I, I know you want to be upstairs in the kitchen but they're gonna be bothering you the moment they know you're home so um, he's going to be working downstairs in my sewing room, so I have to get the bathroom clean, the um, downstairs area just clean for him so he's not, like, stressed. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what we're doing today. And then we'll go from there, but that's kind of, like, the first few things that I have scheduled. And then we do classwork, and then today we're going to go on a shamrock hunt if it's not raining. Oh, my back. My back hurts so bad. Um... If it's not raining, then we'll go on a shamrock hunt through the neighborhood and look for shamrocks and count how many we find. Um, so, yeah, just a little thing for us to do. This is our breakfast. Tori gets two pieces of toast, eggs, and blackberry yogurt. So that is what we're having for breakfast. So cool. Let's get flowers over here. Beans. Big brow. Let's go. <laughs> yep. We weren't having luck finding, I saw, we weren't having luck finding any on our street because everybody treats their yard, but nobody down here treats their yard, so we found lots and lots of clovers down here. 